голоса из Чернобыля устная история ядерной катастрофы. We are often silent. We don't yell and we don't complain. We are afraid to talk about it. We don't know how. The question it raises are not ordinary. We are from Chernobyl. Chernobyl is the worst nuclear accident the world has ever seen. But for many years, it remained unseen, covered up, a secret catastrophe. What Chernobyl did to my country, it was absolutely shocking. It was devastating. It was heartbreaking. The government kept us totally in the dark. In the days of the Soviet Union, um, they did everything to cloak Chernobyl in deception, in lies and more lies. Seven million people were forcibly removed from the fallout zones across Ukraine and Belarus. 3,000 highly contaminated towns and villages were demolished and buried forever under millions of tons of soil. In the shadow of Chernobyl, thousands were born with genetic defects and fatal heart abnormalities. Abandoned by parents who were desperate and unable to cope, many were placed in baby homes and orphanages. Conditions in most were utterly shocking. When we first came here eight years ago, I can't describe to you what we found here. Children who were dying, um, children soaked in their own urine, covered in excrement in beds which were in shocking order. And the children were terrified of us, uh, unused to human contact or touch. And I remember being completely and utterly overwhelmed by the magnitude and the scale of that. What Irish volunteers saw here led to the founding of Chernobyl Children International. And Ireland, as the first responding country and we as one of the first responding organisations, has played a magnificent role in ensuring that the plight and the tragedy of Chernobyl um, is one that we will never forget. When you see people come together to do extraordinary things, to give up their holidays, to get out here, to, you know, just work with children who are in just such a dire strait. Um, it's, it's just inspiring. Here in Vesnova, once a grim, disease-infested children's mental asylum, Chernobyl Children International has created a world-class childcare centre for all of Belarus. This is the 29th Home of Hope, which CCI opened just weeks ago. And this is the first ever Life Skills Home, from which a campaign to win human rights for children with disabilities in Belarus is being fought by CCI. Misha the Cobbler, abandoned at birth, but educated and trained through Irish-funded programmes at Vesnova Orphanage, is now at the centre of one of the most significant human rights campaigns ever fought in Belarus. It's hard to believe that young men like Misha could be sent to mental asylums here in Belarus, but unfortunately that would happen to thousand young men like him. And we are determined to stop this happening. The campaign we've been fighting on behalf of Misha um, is probably the greatest body of work we've ever undertaken in Belarus. It will end years of discrimination for those who are, have been born with special needs. And this will be a landmark case in Belarus and it will ensure that thousands of others will no longer have to come into state mental asylums in the future. The opening of the 29th Home of Hope was one of the year's landmarks. CCI has now taken almost 400 children out of orphanages and placed them with foster parents like Svetlana and Sergei. What couples like Svetlana and Sergei are doing in Homes of Hope such as this one is taking children that have been abandoned, neglected, abused and giving them hope for the future by giving them the love 
and care of a family. And when these children grow up, they will go out into the world having experienced themselves what true love and a family is all about. <coughs> It's really extraordinary that Irish people and Irish companies are funding these homes of hope. And it's inspiring to see how these people who live thousands of miles from here care enough. They care to help these little kids who would have never seen life outside orphanage or asylum, and if not the campaign we are fighting for. Every year, 6,000 children are born with defective hearts in Ukraine. The most common conditions are known as Chernobyl heart and Epstein's anomaly. And I can tell you that in no place in the world that we travel do we see the number of cases with Epstein's anomaly that we see here in Ukraine and in Belarus. It is unprecedented around the world. This year, CCI's flying doctors carried out their 4,000th life-saving heart operation. As war raged in Ukraine between government forces and rebel militia, one family raced across the front line to give their two-month-old baby the hope of a future. The CCI-sponsored cardiac team performed complex open-heart surgery on tiny Artur Shirov. I mean, without the, the help of, of the, the extremely small but very sympathetic and philanthropic population uh, of the Emerald Isle, None of this would have been possible. Every year, Irish volunteers continue to bring help and hope to the victims of Chernobyl and campaign on their behalf across the globe. This is Sasha and her mom Elena, who are on our palliative care, community care program. And um, Sasha is two years of age, and she is, we call her actually the granddaughter of Chernobyl, because her parents were also children of Chernobyl. Her mama has had the, um, you know, her thyroid gland removed, which was cancerous, and also has further uh, cancer. And um, so, so Sasha is extremely ill, and she is surviving only because of this equipment here, which we have helped to provide. And this tubing, which we have just delivered today from kind donors in Ireland, actually help to keep her alive. And um, she's an extraordinary little girl in a sense. She's the the example of what we call Chernobyl lineage, you know, that it passes from one generation um, to another. So she is just the current generation of those affected by Chernobyl itself. As a doctor in Ireland, I've never seen such severe disabilities and deformities that these children have. It's been tough, but it's really great to see that when the children get some love and attention, that they are able to have, smile and have a good time. Um, there's so many medical advancements out there at the moment and if these children were just born in another environment back in Ireland there'd be so much that we could do for them. So it's just vital that we keep fundraising, keep working hard and trying to get these children the best life that we possibly can and try and get them all the best medical advancements over here too so that they can have the best quality of life possible. Around the world right now millions of people desperately need help, hope and encouragement. Ireland has many pressing needs of its own, but almost alone in the world, it has made an extraordinary commitment to the victims of Chernobyl. In doing so, it transforms the lives of these children and their families every day of every year.